Good morning and welcome to another English lesson and today it's unit 2 lesson number 6 and we are going to go over some of the vocabulary exercises. So here we have 8 different photos of 8 different shops. Let's go over them very quickly. I'm going to enlarge it so you could see better. Here we have some books on shelves. Here we have shoes on racks. Here we have medication on shelves. And this person looks like a pharmacist or a chemist. The next photo is a trolley full of food. And here we have a department store. That means there are different departments for different things. Bedding department, bag department. Number six, I can see a football here and some sports equipment here. Number seven, here are some newspapers and magazines. And number eight, there are some long coats and some jackets. So, let's take a try. News agents, news agents shop. Which one is news agents? I'm guessing this one because there are newspapers there. Chemists. Mm -hmm. A bookshop. Must have books. A clothes shop. A shoe shop. A department store, a supermarket, that's where the food is, and a sports shop. So let's check our answers and we have all correct answers. Let's go over it once again. A bookshop, a shoe shop, a chemist shop or a chemist, supermarket, department store, sports shop, news agents, and clothes shop. Our next vocabulary exercise will identify one of the shops that we've come to know in exercise one, and that is a clothes shop, a clothes shop. What do you think this is? Mm, do you know what this is? What about this? Well, let's take a try. The first one is done for you. This is a belt. Belt. Number one. Number one is a dress. Number two is a jumper. Number three, shoes. Number four, hmm, I think I'm going to leave that to you. Number five, boots. Number six, jacket. Number seven, is a shirt. Number eight, shorts. Number nine, Trousers. Again, belt, dress, jumper, shoes, I don't know what this is, boots, jacket, shirt, shorts, and trousers. So, if you know what number four is, 
you have to post your answer on Google Classroom. For exercise number two, we have four questions here. And the questions are, what are you wearing now? What do you usually wear at the weekends? What do you never wear? And what clothes do you really like or dislike buying? For this exercise, I have a very, very special guest. Take a look. Uh, welcome to today's lesson. And we have our very, a very special guest joining us today. And he is none other than our director, Mr. Richard Peskowski. Welcome to our lesson. Thank you very much for inviting me to your lesson. Mind you, you are looking very snazzy today. Thank you very much. Do you mind me asking you a few questions about clothes? No, go right ahead. Okay, so question number one is, what are you wearing right now? Right now I'm wearing a t-shirt, a white shirt and a blue sports jacket. Okay, and uh, what do you usually wear on the weekends? On weekends, I dress casually. I usually wear jeans and a t-shirt and sometimes uh, flip-flops. That's nice. And uh, number three, what do you never wear? I never wear spandex clothes. Swimming clothes? Swimming clothes. Okay. And number four, uh, this question has two parts, so... What clothes do you really like? Clothes that I really like are... Did you, did you ask me that before? Oh, yes, clothes that I really like. I like lots and lots of ties, different ties. I have a... This is just a very small sample of my ties, so... Yeah, I'm a bit crazy about ties. Wow, that's a very big collection of ties. And the last question is, uh, what clothes do you dislike buying? I dislike buying, I guess, shoes. Because I, yeah, I, I dislike buying shoes. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Richard, for joining our lesson today. Thank you very much. Oh, before I go, uh, would you mind helping me choose a tie uh, with this uh, outfit? Okay. Uh, welcome. you watch that video very carefully because that will help you with your assessment tasks for today and for the week. By the way, Mr. Richard, I think the blue and white striped tie will make you look even more handsome. Okay, number one, you have to dress up in your clothing of choice. That means whatever you're comfortable in wearing, you will dress up. You will, number two, video yourself describing each clothing item. For example, I'm wearing a blue shirt, I'm wearing a red dress, etc. You will then upload it onto Google Classroom. Or if you're having problems with Google Classroom, you may use Telegram. And the due date is this Friday, 10th of April. And remember, it is for marks. Yes, it is for marks. So thank you for that lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time.